everybody. This is Elliot with Modern Music Studio. Today we're going to be doing a quick session on how to make a simple drum and bass beat. Let's hop into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a MIDI track. Just right click, choose insert MIDI track. Once you have done that, you're going to want to drag and drop a drum rack on top of that track. And you're going to want to fill your samples in here with what you're going to be using. I've already gone ahead and selected the samples I want, and I put them in my own drum rack here. And just note, all we're really using is just a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat. Um, once you have done that, let's go ahead and switch over to Session View. Just hit Tab to do that. And let's just do a one-bar MIDI clip. Shift-Command-M will fill in that space with the clip, and it'll also bring up your piano roll. So, going from there, make sure your tempo up here is around 170 to 180. Drum and bass generally chills around a pretty quick BPM. Also, you're probably going to want to go in and make the grid at 1 16th. So, you're just really working in 16th notes. And let's make our beat. So, you're going to want to put a kick on the 1, the 2, the and of 3, as well as the 4. Let's give that a listen. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and throw on our snare. The snare is going to be on the two and the four. And then our hi-hats are generally going to be hanging around 16th notes the whole way through. One quick note on the hi-hats is I like to change the velocity of each hi-hat to just kind of give it a little more movement. And once you've done that, um, go ahead and just duplicate those hi-hats out um, going the whole bar. And this is what that's going to sound like. So one other quick note, I've noticed a lot of people like to make their first kick a little quieter than the second kick, and as well as the third kick's going to be a little bit quieter too. So let's give that a listen. And there you go. You can also go ahead and make your hi-hats a little quieter. They seem a little loud to me here. To do that, just open it up by clicking this, hold, click the hi-hat, and then open that up. You have the volume over here, you can just turn it down until it sounds good. Awesome. And that's pretty much the simple way to make a really quick drum and bass beat. Feel free to go ahead and add any reverb that you want on it. Um, just make sure you're not going too crazy with the reverb. And then feel free to go ahead and throw any synths or bass or just kind of create the song around it. Thanks for tuning in, and have a good day, guys.